With the release of Season 2 in Halo Infinite brings a new game mode, Last Spartan Standing, which is a brand new experience we've never had before in the game, so there's a lot of things to learn about it. And after my play sessions, I've come up with 10 tips to have you instantly improve at Last Spartan Standing. Make sure you stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? Kevin here once again giving another tips video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some more content like this. If you want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, tap subscribe as well. It's free. But enough begging and let's get right into the content. So tip number one for you guys was actually a huge tip that I learned when first playing is to not upgrade your loadout right away. The reason why is because these follow-up loadouts that you get after getting score within Last Bar Standing aren't really that great. You start out with a Disruptor and a Sidekick, and that Sidekick Pistol is the weapon you really should be hanging on to. And I've found a lot more success once I get enough kills with the Sidekick to where I can just skip to level 4 here and get that Commando Rifle Assault Rifle combo. With the extended distances that you have with this big team battle map, that the Mangler drop and lead time really plays into the effect where it doesn't really be that useful useful and of course then when you have the disruptor mangler it's kind of two close range weapons then again with the assault rifle and mangler very close range weapons not that useful on this map but if you have the commando rifle and the assault rifle then you're putting it in some work Well, the hard part is that the ui doesn't really tell you what level you're at or what you can get up to because it just says hey go to the next level but you will hear like an audible ding sound happen once you get to a new level that you can upgrade your loadout to so after you hear that third ding then you can get your commando out and start putting out some damage hey i'm definitely not leveling up and you can see right here, all you need is a score of 652 to get to level four, and so you can get your Commando Assault Rifle loadout. There we go. That's the way they'll do it. My second tip for you guys is to use your AI scan. I don't really see many people using these at all because the great thing about using the AI scan, it shows the location of those drop pods that come in, drop in some overshield or camo. And these are absolutely crucial. You do hear them drop in, but for, I know for me personally, the directional audio of these drop pods are not very well done. It's kind of tough to figure out where they are. So being able to use your AI scan, you can see where the drop pod is through walls and also with other equipment like like grenades and things like that, that I'm using my AI scan way more often than I ever do in BTB or in Arena. I'm using it so much so that I actually have it mapped to a paddle on the back of my controller. My third tip for you guys is a general gameplay tip, and it's just to play your life. And what I mean by that is that having your reservoir of respawns is absolutely crucial for your success within this game mode. So it's not the best idea to ex overextend yourself to get that kill when you end up trading because trading not that useful and honestly getting an assist will still give you 50 points to upgrade your loadout instead of the 100 points for the kill but when you're engaging in gunfights make sure you know that you can get that kill and also you're not overextending yourself throwing yourself out into the middle of the map or something like that where either someone could spawn behind you or someone can come by in third party clean you up because when you're at that late game most people are down to like one maybe two respawns and if you have three or four extra respawns you guys that's gonna be an absolute huge advantage for you to be able to win more rounds of last barn standing the next tip for you guys is to bait those xp drops if you guys don't know once a player is eliminated from the match they drop their ai and once you can pick up that ai it gives you an extra 300 xp which is basically the equivalent of three kills Though the thing is to balance out that big XP boost is that it takes quite some time for you to actually acquire it. When you hold down your interact button, it takes some time to actually get the 300 XP totaled. But it does a great job of showcasing where players are on the map, so it helps out with their map awareness. And also you can kind of use it to bait impatient players who are just going to go straight for it. Of course, I'm not saying camp out these XP drop locations, but just kind of patrol the area, keep an eye on things. And if you see something disappear, you know somebody's right there. You have intel on their location, which you can get the drop on them and most likely win that fight. My fifth tip for you guys in this video is to not drop your weapon. If you guys know, there is a technique within Halo Infinite that you actually can drop your weapon and it's actually faster to drop your weapon than it is to switch to your secondary. This is a technique I've picked up a lot while playing ranked arena. It's very useful, but the thing in last barn standing if you drop your weapon it completely disappears i actually had this happen to me where i was using the mangler i got two shots at him then i dropped the mangler to pull out the assault rifle faster to get the kill but then when i went back to go get my mangler it wasn't there 
So just a very important gameplay mechanic to keep in mind while you're playing. My next tip for you guys is an early game technique and it's more to patrol an area. And what I mean by that, it's just kind of pick like a section of the map and just kind of run circles around it. Not exactly like camping, you know, waiting on people to spawn, but in the early game, you have a bunch of people spawning up around you, left and right, and even behind you sometimes. You want to make sure you can limit the amount of angles you can be shot at. And the best way to do that is to patrol an area, keeping your back to the wall of the map as well. And just kind of going left and right, just checking out different spawn locations. Though in the second half of the game, it's not very useful, but in the very first half, it's very useful technique to help you. One, oftentimes players will spawn next, next to you or behind you, like I said. It's also the best way to kind of third party players to kind of clean them up. But when you get to like the second half late game aspect of Last Barn Standing, you can definitely move around a lot more. My next tip for you guys is to utilize your audio, most likely using either earbuds or a headset to listen to footsteps. You can hear footsteps rather clear on this game mode because it's a rather quiet game mode. And also with just how large the map is and the player count, that if you hear footsteps, most likely you can just go and attack them because there's not really many people that are kind of crossing paths that whole lot. Over. There's gunshots, we're going in. It also helps out a lot with your situational awareness. You can hear people activate overshoot. You can hear people activate camo. You can hear footsteps. But keep in mind, players that are using active camo are completely silent. You will not hear their footsteps. And since we're talking about equipment a lot, tip number seven for you guys is to hold on to your equipment. And that sounds pretty much like a no brainer, but oftentimes when we've been playing Halo right for the last few decades, honestly, you get the power up, you pretty much want to use it right away. We've been doing that with Arena and Big Team Bauer. Basically, you activate the equipment on you either overshield or camo and then you go searching for kills well really what you should be doing is get the intel first of where players are and if you can clean them up then activate that equipment of either camo or overshield to get that kill Next, I want to talk about a pretty basic mechanic, but it's become much more useful when it comes to the map breaker because the elevation changes are so high, and that is to take advantage of high ground. Which, yeah, obvious, Kevin. It's always easier to have the high ground when it comes to gunfights with first-person shooters. But what I mean by that is if you're in an advantageous position, right, and you see someone across the map, you have the jump on them, they don't know you're there, don't bother leaving that location when you have the high ground advantage to jump to the low ground to get back up to high ground. It's just that's not that useful of a gameplay style. Honestly, like, it, like I mentioned earlier, kind of like when it comes to patrolling an area and also making sure that you can kind of pick up people that you know you can get the kill on. Don't bother thirsting at for people. Sometimes you need to let the lobby do the dirty work for you sometimes if you're trying to go for that win. And these elevated positions on Breaker are really elevated. They give you a huge advantage on players. So sometimes it's better just to stand your ground and wait for somebody to come towards you rather than thirsting after people and leaving your advantageous position. And my last tip for you guys is a classic free-for-all technique that you definitely need to utilize when it comes to this mode, and that's to clean up damaged players. The one way you can do that is by listening to the gunfights. Like we mentioned earlier, utilizing your audio, listening to the footsteps, listening to gunfights, listening to grenade locations and things like that will give you player intel to know where they are and likely gunfights and also damaged players. And generally avoid instigating gunfights for the most part. Obviously when it's a clear 1v1 and you have some cover you can get away to, you can involve, you can get yourself into a middle of a gunfight, but if you're just kind of thirsting after people the whole time, it's going to be more detrimental to you. This is a free for all technique that players have been utilizing for years, and it's honestly the best way to go about playing free for all as well. But those are the 10 tips I have for you guys for being better at last Spartan standing. If you're new to the channel, missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on this playlist right here. I got linked to all my Halo news and informational videos for you all. So thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out. Yes! We did it! Uh, uh, uh. Last barn standing win, baby. Let's go!